In the mustard seed sun, by full tilt river and switchback sea where the cormorants scud, in his house on stilts high among beaks and palavers of birds, this sand grain day in the bent bay's grave, he celebrates and spurns his driftwood thirty fifth wind turned age. Heron, spire, and spear. Under and round him go flounders, gulls, on their cold, dying trails, doing what they are told. Curlews aloud in the congered waves work at their ways to death. And the rhymer in the long tongued room who tolls his birthday bell. Toils towards the ambush of his wounds, herons steeple stemmed, bless. In the thistle down fall, he sings towards anguish. Finches fly in the claw tracks of hawks on a seizing sky. Small fishes glide through wines and shells of drowned ship. Turns to pastures of otters. He in his slant racking house and the hewn coils of his trade perceives herons walk in their shroud, the live long river's robe of minnows wreathing around their prayer. And far at sea he knows who slaves to his crouched eternal end under a serpent cloud. Dolphins dive in their turn turtle dust. The rippled seals streak down to kill, and their own tide daubing blood slides good in the sleek mouth. In a cavernous swung wave silence, wept white Angela's knells. Thirty five bells sing struck on skull and scar where his loves lie wrecked, steered by the falling stars. And tomorrow weeps in a blind cage, terror will rage apart. The four chains break to a hammer flame, and love unbolts the dark, and freely he goes lost in the unknown, famous light of great and fabulous, dear God. Dark is a way, and light is a place. Heaven that never was, nor will be ever, is always true. And in that brambled void, plenty as blackberries in the woods, the dead grow for his joy. There he might wander bare with the spirits of the horseshoe bay or the stars, seashore dead, marrow of eagles, the roots of whales, and wishbones of wild geese, with blessed unborn God and his ghost, and every soul his priest, gulled and chanter in young heaven's fold, be at cloud quaking peace, but dark is a long way. He on the earth of the night alone, with all the living praise, who knows the rocketing wind will blow the bones out of the hills, and the scythed boulders bleed, and the last raid shattered waters kick, masts and fishes to the still quick stars, faithlessly unto him who is the light of old and air-shaped heaven where souls grow wild as horses in the foam. Oh, let me midlife mourn by the shrined and druid heron's vows, the voyage to ruin I must run, dawn ship clouted the ground. Yet, though I cry with tumble-down tongue, count my blessings aloud. Four elements and five senses, 
and man a spirit in love, tangling through this bun slime, to his nimbus bell cool kingdom come, and the lost moonshine domes, and the sea that hides his secret selves deep in its black base bones, lulling of spheres in the seashell flesh. And this last blessing most, that the closer I move to death, one man through his sundered hulks, the louder the sun blooms, and the tusked ramshackling sea exults, and every wave of the way and gale I Tackle the whole world then with more triumphant faith than ever was since the world was said spins its morning of praise. I hear the bouncing hills grow locked and greener at berry brown fall, and the dewlock sing taller this thunder claps bring. And how more spend with angels ride the men sold fiery islands. Oh, holier than their eyes, and my shining men no more alone as I sail out to die.